Hey guys, Stuggy here from the channel Prith, coming at you today with episode 6 of the Hibernian FC career mode. Today we've got Celtic at home, St Johnston away and Hamilton at home. Let's just jump right into the games guys, get this episode started. Very, very, very frustrating thing happens at the end of the game guys, at the end of the episode sorry. We play the game against Hamilton, we win it 3 nothing, but it didn't record for some reason and I don't know why, it seems to be that I'm having a lot of technical issues right now, so I can only apologise for it and just try and make make sure that it does record in the future. I don't know why, it, Like I've went back on all my files and I can't seem to find it anywhere, it's, it's just disappeared. It's like it's been like auto deleted or something. I don't know. I really do not know. But very, very, very frustrating, guys. Uh, big, big game today. We'll not say anything more about it. Big, big game today. Playing against Celtic. As you can see, we are second right now. Celtic are first. Obviously, they're going to be the favourites to win the league this year. We are within our best minds to just not let that happen. Yeah, we want to win the league. Let's just let's just not give it to Celtic this year. Come on, this game is going to be so so important. We have to win it. It's a must win. Quite possibly the most important game of the whole career mode. <clears throat> very 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 important. Very very crucial game. But I'm gonna show you the starting lineup, guys. I've switched up the formation today because I believe that this formation will be more productive. The four two two two. And we've got like Barker, Swanson and Cam, Bartley, Henderson and uh, CDM, Stokes and Boyle up front. Just because I want to get a wee bit of pace in behind their defenders. Hopefully get away on the counter attack. And Boyle will be perfect for that. Stokes will, you know, Stokes a great finisher. Boyle's all pace. And, you know, he can finish as well. Obviously Boyle's a great player too. But yeah man, Celtic are starting their, you know, full starting 11, I mean Lee Griffith, Stuart Armstrong, Scott Sinclair, Patrick Roberts, Neil Beaton, Scott Brown, Kieran Tierney, don't know that guy's name, Simonovic, Sviatchenko, don't know that guy's first name, Gamboa, and Craig Gordon in the net. So yeah guys, it's a great squad. There's, there's no dispute in that, Celtic is an absolutely incredible squad, but I think if Hearts can beat them 4 nothing, Hibs can beat them today, so... Let's get right into this game and let's absolutely hammer them. Come on the high bees. Rest gave us the nod. We're ready to kick off and the game has begun. Come on boys. And as to be expected, Celtic have come right on the attack at us. Great pass and play. Great ball through to Scott Sinclair. I've tried to jockey on Whitaker. Great ball in and Marciano can clear it up thankfully. Poor balling from Scott Sinclair, and they weren't done, guys. They just they just kept this form running all day long. They were so so hard to defend against, and even beat on getting this far up. Great balling to Armstrong. Great balling again. Effie clears away. Good lad, Effie. <clears throat> guys, he's different class. Effie is different class today. Like without him, we would have easily easily have lost this game. And I'll look at him again there. Great tackling. Scott Brown for. Also great tackle. Kieran Tierney, right in the box to Armstrong. Right back to near Beaton, great tackle Henderson. And we can get away. But it doesn't last very long. They're back at us again, guys. I just felt like this game, I was just concealed them all in box. I mean, look at that for a ball. Right to Roberts, right back in. And Effie's there again. This guy's different class, guys. He's absolutely incredible. He played amazing today. Slid in late there with Henderson. Callum Booth needs to get over and commit to Roberts, not give him so much space. I mean, look at that for a, a, a bit of a one-touch football, sorry. i got my body tongue twisted there. And thankfully that shot went wide as well, guys, yeah. Uh, Marvin Bartley loses out there. F.A. slides in, misses him. Fontaine slides in, misses him. I slide in thinking Griffiths is going to take the shot. And that pass, though, guys. That pass completely sold me. I did not expect that at all. And Scott Sinclair, man, jumping up in front of our fans and celebrating. I don't think so. It's not happening. Let's go and get one back, guys. <clears throat> Come on. Great bit of passing play here. 
one touch football guys that's exactly how we need to play against a team of Celtic's quality great ball through to Boyle and what a goal come on the high bees yes boys 1-1 one, one. now we'll go away and celebrate in front of our fans and they're gone absolutely crazy our fans all over the stadium are gone mental yes come on the boys kicking off in the second half guys Oh, they make a mistake early on. I, I lay it into Stokes. I lay it back to Boyle. I'm going to smash it. Great shot from Craig Gordon. Eh, great save from Craig Gordon, sorry. And Lee Griffiths, man, I've absolutely wrecked him with Effie. The first mistake Effie's made all day. And he's absolutely wrecked the ex-Hibs man. Great ball in there. I mean, Fontaine needs to commit to that. I mean, I've took control of him a bit late. And he's backing right off. Like, where are you going, Fontaine? Commit. Griffiths here, it's a great bit of play, that's a great, great ball through, but Brandon Barker's come back and cleaned up for us, and as you can see, I'm like, right, let's get Adebayo on, we need Akin Fenwa, we need an absolute boss man that's just going to ragdoll both on, and Scott Brown, Sevillachinko, and Simonovic, I think it is, we need somebody that's just going to dominate them, I try and get them in straight away, but... Akin Venmo's decided he's 21 again, decided to run in behind the defenders and look at that for a bit of play guys. That was just unbelievable. Did you see the pass? The pass through to Johnny Hayes, I mean wow, the shot as well, oof. Celtic by far, you know, especially on FIFA ratings and stuff, they're a much better team than, you know, than any other team in the SPL to be honest done really really well I'm you know I'm only taking away positives from this game there's still another game that we need to play against Celtic and I'm hoping in that one there will be a different result they get one last chance here guys and it just goes wide as you can see more possession more pass accuracy oh, they, they deserved it they really did they played they played out their skin today guys but we're just going to jump out of that Pretend it never happened, right into the St. Johnston game, and we've kicked off. And this game was very, very, very frustrating, guys. It was just absolute murder passes in midfield. Like, honestly, I don't even want to chuck this episode in, because it's just, it's just embarrassing. Like, the amount of messes up on passes that I do, the amount of passes that I just absolutely ruined. I mean, they're ruining them as well, for guys. That's that's the thing. Yeah, it was just a, a mixture of midfield errors. And uh, I don't know if that's a penalty, guys. I'll let you decide. Uh, I think it's a bit soft, in my opinion, but I've watched it back. I'll let you watch back the replay. See what you think. I think it's a bit soft. Yeah. St. Johnston would take it if they were giving it for any team would. So we're going to take it. Whitaker's the man that's going to take the penalty. I'm going to smash it bottom right. And how's this for a penalty, guys? I mean, that is unsavable. It's ended up on the other side of the body. Net. Smashed in the right side and it ends up on the left. Great flag, ce great flag celebration. Manus can't do anything about it. 1-0 to the good guys. Come on the high bees. I went up to that corner flag to try and celebrate with our fans. And that penalty is just, just spectacular. It's just amazing. Come on, high bees. Even I'm well chuffed about it. Even my avatar guy. Two goals in the SPL so far for Stephen Whitaker. Both penalties. We need to get someone else that's going to you know, step up and be our penalty kick taker I mean Stephen Wicker will be alright you know for the rest of this season but yeah it, it, he's getting on a bit isn't he it's a great bit of play anyway from St Johnston and Stephen McLean yeah he let St Johnston down today like Stephen McLean pass error from them uh, from me pass error from them right back to us uh, Stephen McLean must have or must have had about five or six chances, there's one of them, to score a goal this game, and yeah man, he, 
Wow. I believe, uh, if I remember right, yeah, they, they end up some of them off. But yeah, Wallerspoon's through here now as well, and yeah, he really should have buried that as well. I think he was actually offside, if I remember right. Michael O'Halloran in, running about in our box. Guys, I need to stop this. I really need to stop letting this happen. And thankfully that shot went wide as well. Yeah, man, St. Johnson are coming into it. They're stopping their messing up in midfield and they're stopping their mistakes so much. We get a clearance, nod down to Swanson, and I just figured, bugger it, I'm just going to have a dig. And, you know, it's, it's not too far away. I'm actually quite impressed with that, if I'm completely honest. It was a good shot, Swanson. Just need to hit the target. Oh, and then they mess up again. Maybe they are not done on their messing up in midfield. I am, though. I'm, I'm just done. You know, my, my passing in this game was just horrendous. But yet, apparently, it's better than theirs. It do not even make any sense, guys. I don't know how. But their passing was horrendous. Their passing was really, really bad. This uh, second half, they come alive. And they really, really, really come at us with force because we're only 1 0 up. Always happens, guys. Always. The first 15, 20 minutes game time. They just come full force at you, but I want I was not expecting or what was to come. Poor header on the first one, but great header on the second one. We're on a counter attack, guys. Daniel Swanson into McGeeck, back to Swanson. Murray's making a run. I should have laid him there. I never I should have laid McGeeck there. I never. Silliness, absolute silliness. I'm getting frustrated as you can see, guys sliding in with players and stuff now. I mean, look at that turn for McLean. Great save, Marciano. Craig's coming off, and we have a couple of subs as well. Swanson's off for Phil Foden, and Schlivka is on for, I think that was Dylan McGeeck. It was. Poor corner, too close to Marciano, he's punched it out. Brandon Barker's completely ran past his guy. Schlivka's come out to meet him. Great ball into Wotherspoon, I believe. Or not, Steve McLean. Yeah, he should have finished that. Really, really should have finished that. Great bit of hold-up play there for absolutely boss Liam Henderson. Great bit of play back. Needs to look for Wallerspoon again. Great ball in. We've got it clear. No, we haven't. They've got it again. Stephen Whitaker needs to clear it away. It's just mayhem, guys. Martin Boyle needs to go out more wide. You know, I'm sick to death of their full-backs picking up their freaking loose balls. It's just an absolute joke. I'm sick of it. I'm going to have to just, uh, you know, start putting on on his uh, tactics, you know, stay wide. They really should have finished that as well. I believe that was David Wotherspoon. I mean, that was a great chance. And how have they missed that? Makes no sense, guys. But Phil Foden, this kid just changed the game. I mean, he's absolutely immense. This is, is it Craig Miller or Chris Miller? Absolutely struggling to keep up with him. Great ball in. It's meant for Slivka, but Foden takes it, smashes it, hits it off the bar, and great goal. Absolute wonderful goal. Come on, the boys in green, or the boys in black today. And look at him, away celebrating in front of the St. Johnston fans. That's not very good, my son, but he is loving life right now. Debut for his club. He's played about 20 minutes, if that, and he scored an absolute wonder strike. I'm going to let you in on a thing here, guys. It also scores in the Hamilton game. And it's another wonderful goal. But I can't show you that I'm absolutely gutted, guys. The biggest win of the season so far. And I can't show you that I'm absolutely gutted. The first ball from Slivka is very poor. But Brandon Barker does not give up. He's like, nah, I'm not having that. Great bit of interception play there. Now, this should be a free kick, guys. He's getting tugged all about the place. He was about to lay it in the Murray, but yeah, he's had to tuck back. He's tried to swing it on the edge of the box, and it's a um, poor ball in. They've got one last corner, guys, coming up now. And Alan Manis has come up for it. Come on, boys, we need to clear us away. I don't know why Alan Manis has come up for it, to be fair. Steven Anderson underneath it, and it's come off of Slivka, I believe, last. So it's went up for another corner. I don't know why Manis is up for this, because... It's 2-0 to us. But Foden, great interception play there. I've smashed the, you know, run really fast button and smash it in front of you sort of thing to make it away, not realising there was another defender there. 
and that's the end of the game guys now very 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 frustrating I'm gonna show you this obviously but yeah guys I'm absolutely gutted about it I'm really really sorry thank you very much for watching I'll see you on the next one goodbye